So today sucked, and we're here to tell you all about it. I'm Tris Leader, and I'm Forest Leader, and we're talking life, health, and sanity, and finding sunshine in the rain. All right, Forest. Why did today suck? Um. Well, I I got a dozen donuts. Why did you do that? Well, my wife was like, "Would you get me donuts?" Oh, you're gonna just totally out me all the way around. Huh? <laughs> I mean, donuts—they <laughs> sounded really good, and so. Obviously, I was like, of course, I will get you donuts because I also was thinking of donuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will actually say that I was thinking about donuts. You were. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it was one of those mornings, like sleepy Sunday morning and it sounded good. And that was definitely in the category of probably shouldn't, but I just don't care. And it was nice, and it was tasty, and it was a fun treat to have with kids. Yeah. And, yeah. And then, um, you know, we just did, we did a bunch of chores today. Woo! Woo! But the house feels nicer, you know. Yeah. Kitchen's clean, and clothes are folded. Yeah. And stuff. Our bedroom got picked up. Yeah. Yeah. So, yay, adulting. I'm still waiting for the sucked downside of all this. We didn't really do any, you know, health stuff. You're right. We didn't. We've had a couple, three days now where we've kind of gotten out of that. I blame you, though. Oh? Yeah, because we were doing really good, and then you decided to do not one, but two days of mowing the lawn, and so you were too sore and tired to do our little workout, and so then we got out of the habit. We were doing really good doing it, and I mean, it just takes that couple of times, and then we're just out of the habit again. Okay. So I 100% blame you. It's absolutely not my fault at all. I hold no responsibility ever. Perhaps we could do uh, a little yoga after we do recording. Hmm. You know, we could, but I don't want to. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we could do some yoga. Sure. It'd feel nice. It would feel nice. Yeah. You did get a massage yesterday. I nice. did. Uh, you've only been bugging me to go for two months. Yeah. So I hadn't. And Ben, we've got this great little local massage place that's just down the street from us that they're wonderful and genuine, sweet, kind people that we adore. And I had not been there since they reopened after everything was closed for COVID and forced has been bugging me to go. So I finally did go. Yeah. And I should have gone sooner. Yes. Yes. But yeah, so there's been some some good stuff in there and, and whatnot. And then... You know, um, I was thinking. (laughs) So was the cat, too. (laughs) With all of this stuff that we did today, but, you know, didn't do health things. It got me kind of thinking about this stuff and like, you know, why is that stuff important? Why is health stuff important? No, no. Like, why is... Like, the stuff that we did today. Mm-hmm. Like why is that important stuff? Why is it important to, like, do the dishes and clean the <laughs> kitchen and fold clothes and all that kind of stuff that is always happening? You always have to do it. Oh, it never ends. It never ends. And it's worse since all four of us are home all, all the time. So, there's more dishes and... Uh, anyway... I'm assuming that you're looking for an answer other than the obvious, well, because we need dishes to eat on and clothes to wear. Well, I mean, it's kind of related to that. Okay. Um, And it's the idea of we do things today so that tomorrow will be better. Mm. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, why do we, why do we do things like 
doing the dishes? Well, because we're going to need dishes to eat on. And that we have them there to use when we need them. Mm -hmm. You know, why do we fold clothes so that, you know, we can find our clothes when we need them and wear the stuff that we want to wear? Yeah, the living out, living out of the basket, like philosophy, it really doesn't work because we get our clothes clean pretty regularly, but then they tend to sit in baskets and uh, then you have what you need mostly, but you have to go and search for it and dig through and it's wrinkly and whatever else. And yeah, yeah. But um, that got me thinking that. It's kind of like that with this health journey as well. Mm -hmm. Why is it important to do our healthy behaviors, our healthy habits that mm -hmm. we're trying to build? Why is it important to do them today? And, and it really comes down to because we want to be healthy tomorrow. You know, we're not going to see those benefits right now mm -hmm. as much. But, you know, when we need it, mm. you know, when we need to be able to be there for our kids, mm. when we, um, when we're older and our body is going to have more of a tendency to have trouble, you know, we need to be in healthy condition so that we give ourselves the best chance to be able to mm -hmm. fight off infections and um, to deal with the health issues of aging kind mm -hmm. of things. And we, when we get there, when we're facing those things, it's too late. Right. You know, we can't change that stuff. Granted, we can always make a change at any given point you can make a change but it doesn't help you at that time right you know it's it's for the future you know so even if you are older and facing health issues you can use that as a turning point to say all right i'm going to i'm going to do things different cuz i don't want to be where i am anymore mm -hmm. and have you know have an, an improved future but why wait? Mm -hmm. Why wait until you're hurting mm -hmm. to do those things if you can do it now? Yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, you weren't kidding. You had stuff to talk about. And I, I y'all, I didn't know what he was, any of what he was going to say because I was tapped on brain power tonight. And all of that makes total sense. You should think more often. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. It doesn't come naturally to me. No, I think that makes total sense. I'm just going to breeze right past that. Um, mm -hmm. That I mean, when you are getting dressed for work and you open your drawer and you have no underwear in there, well, you don't have time to do a load of laundry that takes two and a half hours before it's dry. You're, you're, you've taught three classes by then. Right. And so there's nothing you can do about it right then. You, I don't well, whatever whatever solution anybody finds when they don't have underwear. Um, you know, and and so it it's, it's too late for that moment. For that, yeah. It's not too late for the next time. No, mm -mm, no. And, and there is value in that in wherever the turning point is. 100%, absolutely. But if, if we want to make our best life, we can't wait until then. You know, we have to be doing it now. You're right. And as strange as it may sound, like, I don't know if I've been able to, up to this point, put a whole lot of urgency mm -hmm. on the stuff. Like, it's important, yeah, but it, it could be important tomorrow. Well, it's so nebulous and... Yeah. Um, like, borderline existential. <laughs> like it's yeah, well, I mean, it's like with... um. It's it's just like with dishes and laundry. It's never done. Yeah. There will always be more. Mm -hmm. 
You know, you never just arrive in health. Mm -hmm. um, you you may have reached a place where you're healthy, but you can't let go of that stuff. Well, it's maintenance after that. You have to continue to yeah maintain it. Um, you never get to <laughs> be like, all right, I'm not going to be healthy anymore. Yeah, like I, mean, I got I got here, so I could just do whatever I want now, so, and it won't matter. Like, no, you you keep you have to sort of keep it up. Yep. Now I'm fit, so I'm gonna sit on the couch. I earned mm -hmm. it, and then mm, yeah, you let no, it go, and that everything that you gained is lost. Really bad cycles. Yeah. So, I think that what this, and and this is why I love doing this podcast with you, Tris, is because I'm so pretty. Well, obviously, I get to stare at you the whole time. Um, no, it's it's that it's this reflection mm -hmm. time on the day that if we weren't doing this, I wouldn't have been thinking about it. Right. We would have just been doing what we do. Yeah, we wouldn't talk this in depth about a lot of this stuff. And so, you know, here we are. Mm -hmm. We're in this place. We had a day where we got our house put together and we didn't do a lot of good things for our health. <laughs> we did eat no. several donuts, but. Well, I feel like we did good things for our mental health. That's in true. That, in that breaks like a weekend are not only nice, they are imperative. Yeah. They are not a luxury. They are a necessity. Um, yeah. And we took lots of of weekend time today, too. Yeah, that's which true. Which was good. We actually, like, and that's a whole other topic, I suppose. But we, yeah. had, to, we had to draw the line for our daughter um, today because she's got some schoolwork and stuff that everybody's still trying to figure out how all that remote learning stuff is working. So she's got some things that she needs to catch up on. And we looked at each other and went, no, she did some yesterday, Saturday. She gets to have a day. She gets to have a she day doesn't off. That she doesn't have to do some kind of schoolwork. She is a, she's eight. She is allowed to not have to do schoolwork every day. Yeah. And um, so we did, some, we did some of that for our mental health that I think is yeah, important. That's true. But you're right. Otherwise, we kind of ate like poo and... <laughs> Um, we did not eat poo. I didn't say. I said like. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we ate terribly and had some really tasty donuts. Yeah. But out of this stuff, then reflecting on the day, we can, you know, it's it's kind of like journaling, you know, mm -hmm. which I've heard people say is good, but I can't do it. I can't either. You've tried to make me. Yeah, I do it sometimes when I can't sleep because of like anxiety stuff, and sometimes that helps. But otherwise, and I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you get into that. My my granddad, my my dad's dad, um, he wrote in a journal every dang day for decades. Mm -hmm. And after he passed, and we were cleaning out their house, we just had like multiple boxes of these little these little journals that were that are like half a notebook size like they're not mm -hmm. super big and he always started it out with the date and the weather mm -hmm. and i mean honestly i couldn't tell you all what's i don't i don't know if i've i ever sat down and read any of them i was i was 12 when he passed so it wouldn't have held a lot of interest for me at the time which is unfortunate but every day Every dang day. And I can't, I can't do that either. This, mm -hmm. this seems to be a decent alternative to that. Yeah. And then we make you guys listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but um, that kind of reflection, I've cracked her up with my tee. <laughs> hey, I was doing good. <sighs> hmm. This, this time of reflection has been super valuable um, because of being able to find these takeaways from the day. And we're able to actually learn from what we're doing. Mm. And we can't do that if we don't think about it. And we're such creatures of habit, humans, that 
that we don't. We just continue on with whatever we do because that's what we've always done. Mm -hmm. And unless we actually sit down and think, did I do what I wanted to do today? And do I need to change anything to have my tomorrow be better? Unless we think about those things, nothing changes. Right. And if we're not changing, we're not growing. And yeah. if we're not growing, then we're dying. Wow, that got dark real quick. My goodness. No, I think you're right. Um, trying to, you know, figure through and analyze why you're doing what you're doing. Especially if you're not doing what you want to be doing. And what I mean by that is not, well, I'd rather be, you know, playing a video game or watching a movie. Well, sure, but it's it's work day, so you need to work. But I mean, I mean, have you all ever had this experience where you get to the end of a day or whatever that you look back on it and you go, I did nothing of what I planned to do today. Mm -hmm. I had all these things in my head that oh, this will be great. I can do this and I can do this. And I, can do this. And I, got, I did none of it. Right. But I, I'm, it's at the end of the day. Obviously, the time went somewhere. I'm tired. I did some things. What happened? And at least for us, what we find a lot is um, figuring out whether or not we are doing something on purpose. Mm -hmm. The intentionality of what you're doing. And the hard thing about that is it's really easy to sort of look at that in review at the end of the day. But making yourself stop in the middle of the day, in the middle of the things that you're doing and go, is this what I'm choosing consciously to do or am I on autopilot? Mm -hmm. And if the thing is, yeah, I'm consciously choosing to do this. This is what I want to do with my time. Then when you get to the end of the day, you can go, well, that's what I chose to do instead of I just drove 400 miles and I don't remember doing any of it. I just am here now. Yeah. Your brain's on autopilot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and developing the ability to go, you know, pump the brakes and go, okay, is this actually what I want to be doing? Is this what I'm choosing to do with this time? And that's a hard skill to master. I think it's one that um, we are upper amateurs at. We're getting better at We're it. We're working on it. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult thing to do, to be very intentional with where you put your time. Yeah. Um, and in order to do the things that you want to do to make tomorrow better, you have to intentionally, consciously choose to do them. Because they're not on autopilot. They're not programmed into your autopilot yet. Yeah. Absolutely. So reprogram your autopilots, everybody. Yeah. So I'm going to consciously choose to say that you can find us on Twitter. <laughs> and I am there as at fearless leader. And I am at Tris underscore joy. And we love chatting with you all. Come leave a comment and tell us what you thought. Um, we love to hear the wisdom from everybody else, too. Yeah. And if you have ideas of other things for us to talk about, you know, we're doing this a lot. So, you know, we'll let you be our, our researchers and help yeah. us to figure out what to talk about some other different day. Absolutely. But for now, I guess that means... See you next time, suckers. <laughs>